Welcome back to Court TV Live. Supporters of WNBA star Brittany Griner are desperately working to free her. The Russian government announced last week they had detained the two-time Olympic gold medalist over drug charges. Now, Griner is a star player in both the U.S. and Russia. She plays for the WNBA Phoenix Mercury, also a Russian club as well. But her arrest photo surfaced yesterday. It's not exactly clear when the picture was taken. Uh, Griner was reportedly arrested last month month though. The booking photo comes after video was released of Brittany going through security at a Moscow airport. Customs agents are seen pulling her aside, searching her luggage. Russian officials say they found vape cartridges containing hashish oil. Her wife, Cheryl T. Griner, has been calling for support online. And this week she posted a big family picture saying, quote, people say, stay busy, yet there's not a task in this world that could keep any of us from worrying about you. My heart, our hearts, are still skipping beats every day that goes by. And then just the day before, she posted this picture of the couple together, captioning it, quote, thank you to everyone who's reached out to me regarding my wife's safe return from Russia. Your prayers and support are greatly appreciated. I love my wife wholeheartedly. So this message comes during one of the weakest moments of my life. I want to bring in now a special guest this afternoon, someone who knows a lot about what it's like to be a professional basketball player detained abroad. We have with us former NBA star Ennis Freedom. Many of our viewers will know you as Ennis Cantor, and, and you're now full-time a human rights activist. Um, but Ennis, it's, it's such a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. First of all, you know, our viewers may not know, you were actually detained in Romania in 2017 when you were playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So when you look at what's happening to Brittany Griner, what really stands out to you? You know, I understand the rules are rules, but the Russian government detaining WNBA star Brittany Griner is obviously one of the biggest reasons reason uh, political. You know, having been a professional basketball player myself for more than now uh, 10 years, I know that we can become targets in uh, pol political uh, warfare. You know, if you look at my, my case, obviously Turkish President Erdogan targeted me and my whole family just because of what I was outspoken about, you know, some of the issues are happening in my home country, uh, Turkey, and also political uh, prisoners. And I believe it's to make an example for other Turkish people. And I mean, you know, everyone knows that I mean, I'm a high profile, you know, basketball player and I was playing with some of the best NBA teams and with some of the best NBA player on the court, on the court. And I think it was an example to other Turkish people who are not always untouchable is, and no one is above his control. So that's why he wanted to make an example of it. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the last thing I will say about her, so I'm really, you know, fearful for Brittany that something similar could be happening to her. In, uh, in Russia for the, you know, drug charges against her. Now she could spend up more than, you know, uh, 10 years now. So I, we should uh, pray for her. Yeah, so so you you saw, so you so think that, that Brittany is being made an example of also by the Russian government, it sounds like. That, that's what I believe, yes. But I, I, I just think, that I think like the more pressure we put on the Russian government and the more that, especially I think right now for, for the, there are so many athletes out there, we need to bring awareness and use our uh, platform because I mean, obviously, the uh, read that the last four or five, five weeks is, is uh, I mean, everybody knows what's going on. So I feel like we should definitely. Uh, yeah. And what are, what are you really concerned for with, with Brittany? Because, you know, I was just looking at, at the kind of the law over there and she could potentially be in prison for up to 10 years. Um, do you think that that, you know, it could potentially be that grim over there? I think. Like I said, again, I think the Russian government trying to, you know, like get an example out of her. And I think, you know, what's happening to her, obviously, like I said, again, rules are rules. But, um, you know, it just, it's just tough because she's not, not in America. But I think, like I said, again, all the, you know, athletes out there needs to use her platform to, you know, just show some support. And I think you take it very seriously because the Turkish government actually, they couldn't get you, but they put your father in prison um, exactly. from, from what I understand. Um, you have a lot of concerns beyond, larger even than Brittany Griner over, over Russia. Um, what, what concerns you the most? Yeah, um, first of all, about the uh, Russia and Ukraine thing, you know, people need to understand, you know, with the invasion of Ukraine, Putin uh, seems to have strongly empowered dictators. You know, I mean, 
course, this I, I just keep uh, giving these examples. You know, as he attacking the free people of Ukraine, you know, Xi Jinping of China, like everybody knows, is preparing to attack at Taiwan, and along its support for Russia. And recently, it was like a, on the news a few uh, you know days ago, Kim Jong Un of uh, North Korea just fired a, a ballistic missile near South, South Korea, and the you know dictatorship of Belarus is increasing their oppression against their own people, and openly supporting. Uh, Russia. So I think, you know, this is why we, uh, why the fight in Ukraine is fight for all people. By standing uh, with the people of Ukraine, we are all standing against general uh, tyranny and the safeguard in our future. And another point to consider is this, you know, when Xi Jinping was allowed to have the Olympics, despite the genocide and all that stuff, it is also seems to have become the green light for all the, the dictators like Putin to realize that they can eventually get away with the essential anything so yeah, I mean, I, I know that you, you in, in your work now, full-time as a human rights activist, but even before when you were full-time as a, as a pro basketball player, you were always um, very focused on rallying the fans behind these causes. Um, what can fans do? What can fans do if they're, they're concerned about Brittany Griner and they're concerned about these human rights issues? I mean, first of all, I think to bring that awareness is the most important thing. So I feel like we need to put as much pressure on them as we can on, you know, through social media. And I think what my goal is, you know, my ultimate goal is to educate our young generation. And now, obviously, we have a huge uh, platform, especially if you're an athlete. There are so many, you know, kids are idolizing you out there. I feel like we need to, you know, just bring as many as, many as awareness as we can and also educate our young generation. And I think, you know, the, the last thing I will say, I feel like the, about the you know, whole thing, the world must act immediately. I mean, the future of Europe about the Ukraine thing, the future of Europe and, and the world is being decided now. And I, I believe that, you know, the evil leaders like you know, Putin and Xi Jinping and many other ones are a threat to global security and free world. So I think, you know, China and Russia wants to destroy democracy and I believe they're criminal uh, partners and it is therefore important that Ukraine and Taiwan support it. But I think one thing about uh, the last thing about Brittany, I'm going to pray as much as uh, I can for her. and I want all the people uh, do, do the same thing because she needs our praise and uh, support. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you I, I wanted to point out, you changed your name to Ennis Freedom. It was Ennis Cantor when you became an American citizen. And I think something you've spoken a lot about is just the values that we sometimes as Americans can take for granted, the freedoms that we sometimes enjoy, don't always exist in, in places like Turkey or Russia. Uh, any final thoughts on that? I mean, people need to understand, you know, I'm coming from a country when you criticize the government, you will be in jail. Your whole family will be in jail and, and tortured. So I feel like, you know, uh, people need to understand how lucky they are. Obviously, America having their own problems, that's no lie, but people need to understand how lucky they are because there are rules and laws and checks and balances. And the last thing I will say is uh, freedom uh, for all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, thank you so much for, you know, for sharing your thoughts on that. And of course, you know, many prayers for, for Brittany Griner as well. Um, and Ennis Cantor, formerly Ennis Cantor, now Ennis Freedom, a former NBA star joining us here on Court TV Live. Still ahead.